Okay, this is Roger Barrow. I'm going to give you a quick video on Twitter. About a month ago, I really got involved heavily with Twitter. Now, I guess you could say I'm what you would call a Twitter holic, so to speak. But before that, I didn't get the service at all. And the reason I did not get the service at all is because I wasn't following anybody and no one was following me. So, I'm going to show you first how do you find people to follow. Well, if you go to surmise.com, that's S-U-M-M-I-Z-E.com. I've got that up on the screen right here. And we're just going to key in something. I'm going to search for, since I'm into marketing, I'm just going to search for marketing. And let it search Twitter conversations that are going on right now. And what I would do here is go down the list and look and see who's writing or who's talking about marketing right now and then click on a few of these people and I might add them to my following as soon as uh, as, soon as I see something that, that looks kind of interesting or, or whatever let's go to um, let's just click on this one Converse Kids okay not somebody I'm probably gonna follow no offense to you know Converse Kids but just you know just saying but what I would look at here is when I click on their little profile is I'm gonna look at how many people are they following you see this person is only following four people and they only have 15 followers they've given 77 updates so they're pretty active with Twitter they probably just got started with this but this probably isn't somebody that I would follow so we'll go on to the next one uh, SEO jobs I've looked at this before this is kind of interesting um, this talks about just nothing but search engine optimization jobs I probably will follow this just to kind of see what's going on with the market but as you can see 54 people following 25 followers not a great following but we'll add to it just click on follow and now I'm following SEO jobs and if you come over to my profile on Twitter which is just twitter.com forward slash Roger Bauer and you'll see right there uh, my last update was getting ready to create an intro to Twitter video with Camtasia to add to the blog tomorrow that's what I'm doing right now I'm creating the video. But if you look over here, I've got uh, 218 people I'm following, and I have 130 people following me. And I've gotten 41 direct messages. You can do that um, if you click on, just click on direct messages. I'm not going to click on that because I don't want to share the conversations with people I've had that are you know, supposed to be private. But you can see I've, I've provided 766 updates since I've gotten involved in Twitter. And like I say, uh, that's a little over a month, probably a month and a half. I'm probably, you know, twittering quite a bit more than the average person. But like I said, I've I've become a Twitter holic. Anyway, back to surmise. We'll go and we'll find. We'll we'll click on the next page and see if we see anything. Um, let's look at Linktastic. You know, he's got a, a picture of uh, looks like P Diddy. You know, Sean Combs. Okay. Uh, got an error there. Don't know what happened. But anyway, um, you can see following 195 people, uh, 22 people are following him. So it's probably about 1,838 updates. That's quite a few. Um, if I thought that was really Sean Combs, I might follow him, but I don't personally believe it is. Now, if, if it is and I'm wrong, I apologize, Linktastic. If it's really you, Sean Combs, then I'll probably follow you. But anyway. Just this gives you a rough idea of how you can find people that are interested in something similar to you. Let's just say that you run a manufacturing company. Let's do a search for manufacturing. Let's see what we got. So then you, you, you bring up all the tweets. That's what a Twitter post is called, is a tweet. Uh, all the tweets that have come up that use the word manufacturing. That's all it's doing. It's going to be a real-time thing on that. You could go through here and search the different people. And let's look at deal time. Let's see what he's got. Following 220 people and has uh, 22 followers. Again, I think we've got something going for George Bush. Okay, yeah, right, okay. I'm sure George Bush, the president, is, uh, is Twittering. But, uh, like I say, I would, if this were me, I would look at the number of people that they are following, the number of followers they have, and the number of updates. If you see somebody that doesn't have a lot of any, then chances are they're probably not real active and they're not going to expand your following or your knowledge level a whole lot. 
so there's kind of a quick overview on how you can add people to your Twitter account. You can follow people, they can follow you. Uh, if you see somebody that has nobody that they are following, but yet they have a lot of people following them, to me that's not a good person to follow either because they're not real social. They are just wanting to blast out their uh, Twitter, their tweets to people, but they have no real interest in following anybody in return. Uh, one of the violators, which kind of surprises me that he violates this, is uh, Seth Godin. He doesn't follow anybody, but yet he's got thousands of people following him. To me, that just kind of takes up the uh, social in social media. That's my opinion. You know, Seth ha has his reasons for not following people, and I'm sure they're valid in, in everything else, but that's just me and my own personal philosophy. Do with it what you want. Hope the video's been helpful.